Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Waposha or you can call me Wabibs and welcome to the Slay Squad. Today is a random Tuesday. It is a Tuesday, Tuesday, the 6th of October and I have new stock coming in. And you guys, let me tell you, new stock days have become my new favorite days. I always just feel like it's Christmas. Christmas has come extremely, extremely early. Um, I'm on my way to House of Leather because I need to buy... A plate that I want to use for flat lays. I'm just looking for a very minimal plate. I'm still debating. Do I want a plate? Do I want two small saucers? I don't know. You know, House of Leather is like Miniso. Once you enter, you will see things you didn't know you need. <laughs> and suddenly you're walking away with the whole store. Um, yeah, I might even buy a fake plant to use because I've already killed my last succulent. A succulent. Who kills succulents? Me. I kill succulents okay yeah so i'm going to get into house of leather get the things that i need and then we can do a small mini haul afterwards hey guys so i'm back home my wig head is somewhere behind there so if you can see it let's just ignore it <laughs> and i was just thinking to myself i must be in such a good mood because um this week's vlog which i usually film the week's vlog the week before we've just lost the beginning of the footage and <laughs> what you're watching right now is me refilming basically what I did last week because last week I was taking pictures for the Bosch Duke website and I explained that um, when I started doing my math I realized for me because a lot of my items are not like constant a lot of the pieces are seasonal so it doesn't make sense to invest in photography every time especially because i really can do it myself <laughs> you know so i did the video last week but i don't think it was honestly the best so maybe it was god hitting me like do better anyway if you can hear some drilling going on downstairs it's because um i want to do i feel like room makeover is too much this is more like a make my room comfortable va, instead of a whole full makeover thing so we're putting in the curtain rods at the moment and my bedroom is directly below anyways to the hall real quick so everything that i was buying was just to help me build my home studio to be better so that i can be able to take better flat lays for you people so this first one actually i didn't get for myself this was gifted because i kept on talking about how i'm killing plants and i did them to be alive for flat lays so i'm not sure how much this one was but it's so beautiful let me bring it closer so you can see that's how the full basket looks like definitely it'll come in handy for pictures even just like somewhere there ish when you know youtubers always have random plants everywhere and for my bag i'm really proud of myself by the way you guys because i tried to make this as affordable as possible for me <laughs> um so actually i'm seeing as if they made a mistake somewhere here because i got this flowers i got two of them and they've written that there are three but there are two i should have checked the receipt before i left so one one branch is 400 shillings and actually there's a lady who was walking in front of me and she was getting these to put in like a long vase in her bathroom and i was like oh that would be so cute but for me i want to use them at like the corner of pictures just to add something if the picture looks blank so i can use one can use two i can put them together there was also a green version but i really liked this two colors specifically and this one so one branch goes for 400 bob and i'm excited that they will not die my god why didn't i check the receipt and i always check receipts when i'm leaving I also got another small fake plant. This one goes for. Oh, I, I get what they did. So this flower is 400, 400, 400. So all of them 1200. Um, so this is how this one looks like. Really small. Just to put on the side as well. Because when I take flat leaves from the top, I just want little spikes to be 
coming out because I did this last week with a real plant but like I said the plant was dying <laughs> or rather is in the process of dying then the last thing that I got is a plate now I really debated because of this nice fancy leaf plates that are going for like 1200 bob but I was like where am I buying that one I don't even need it when I know a plate like this can suffice so it's a really simple plate and I like how it has the curves everywhere like you could even honestly use it this other way so i liked how many different ways i could use this one plate and for example let me show you for example so this necklace that i'm wearing this is actually bosch dips bestseller and i can't blame you guys because it's so dainty it's so delicate it looks cute it looks expensive it goes for 650 kenyan bob um only have two left currently but it should be restocked next week so this is what i'm talking about you see if i put the necklace like this and then the like plant somewhere and stuff like that then this is more interesting to look at than if it's just on the table or something like that okay so these other things that i have are not from house of leather and i didn't exactly buy them today but they are part of the collection that helps me um take these flatly pictures so number one is this tile right here and i usually just place it so like i'd place this first and then put the plate on top so that when i take pictures the bottom looks quite beautiful that i have over here as well is marble but the difference is that it's a <laughs> it's a brown marble so because i want my website to look a bit more cleaner and white that's why i prefer to put this one on top now last week when i was taking the pictures because um some of the pictures require my face in them like let's say if i was taking a picture of this headband right here but my background is white and if you look at the rest of the pictures on my website the background is pink so that's what i was trying to match so i bought a bunch of manila papers which i stuck to the wall using masking tape which actually worked really well because the wall doesn't have any like paint marks removed now i didn't like how this looked in photographs it just looked a bit darker and off and i was not happy with that how that came up so yesterday i was in easily getting curtains and i got this as well so this is a piece of fabric i can also use this to like drape it nicely and then like hang um a necklace off of this like when it's still on the plate or when it's on the marble and i can also use it to like feed on the wall and then it will act as my background i honestly don't know a specific place where i can tell you okay this was from textbook center but for the fabric hey um okay so if you type siham cosmetics center i think it will take you to a place where you can get a bunch oh my god <laughs> that was an interesting phone call what was i even saying mm, it's like i've gotten off the phone call that has just my mind because it's, it's work things and then also i'm seeing other emails about stock and other emails about the payment processing it's just it's done that to my head so i was saying you can check um siham cosmetics center on google maps and i think if you're dropped there it's not the exact place it's just a building that i usually see next to fabric places you can be able to see where you can get this fabric before this i was using my old um pajamas i just cut them up because they were nice silky material and i would use them on the flat lay not on the wall so now that i have this because it's even longer um i can use this as well for the flat lays so yeah let me set up a picture real quick and then i can be able to show you guys how it works okay so it is definitely a very very long way later my hair is even a bit messed up but let's ignore that it's not about me today so i have taken pictures um outside more lifestyle shots to go on my feed because i was not liking how how my feed was looking with the same website pictures you know like it can be there once in a while but not all the time i was taking pictures of 
a bonnet <laughs> that's why my hair is messed up and i want to quickly explain this because um they're coming to put a curtain rod over there so i won't be able to talk when they're doing that now this is the setup for this first necklace that i'm photographing here so this is that same sheet clearly it's really really big so if you don't want to hang it on the wall like here like i do just cut one meter so this is the necklace that i'm photographing so so beautiful and what i am using is this camera right here this is the canon d200 with a 50 millimeter lens the 50 millimeter lens is working beautifully and literally two shots okay not two shots like just a couple of shots and i think i already have the shot that i want i don't know how clear it is so i will put a before and after editing right now on the screen just so that you can be able to clearly see it so as you can see you don't need to invest that much in photography if you have the equipment at home okay so the fundi was here fixed the rod and everything now i'm doing rings and this is struggle nation so for guys who are asking for smaller eh, links for smaller rings we have smaller rings well they're honestly supposed to be midi rings but if your hands are as small as mine they can fit all the way but then if you have <laughs> normal sized hands then they should fit like on top here as a midi ring anyway so this is what i'm taking right now and the biggest struggle is that it's hard to focus on just one hey over here it looks nice maybe i should switch cameras but it's a bit hard to focus on one why is it doing it here Maybe, you know what, maybe I'll just switch and start using the G7X for these pictures. Okay, so I think I'm done taking the flatly pictures. This was the last one I was taking. I don't know if it will focus because the earring is so small. But we have now um, different variations of this earring right here. Now, they're so small. So photographing them was really a struggle. What I did is I just put them like this on my hand. Then came in really really closely and took the picture like that. So now I want to set up here, do this, and then we can call today's vlog scene. It's meant to fist focus. <laughs> so to wind up and show you this last setup, I have a ring light, um a softbox one, softbox two, and then behind here is our sheet. So I've just held it from one door. To the rest and i know you see like the wrinkles on there and stuff like that but it doesn't really matter because the place i'm shooting is only like that part so if you look at the camera you can't really do that you can't see me so how i'm taking the pictures is like this from my phone so this is what the camera is seeing and i can take the pictures so i've literally just taken a whole bunch of photographs right now if it will load so you see like this is the necklace one that I have just taken and then I've also taken pictures of the bonnet, the tees and yeah, but I edit, I feel like they will look really, really cute. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for the second part of the vlog. Good morning guys, it has been I think two days. <laughs> since i last picked up the camera my life has just really become a bit boring because there's not much i'm doing in the house apart from packing orders and i'm just always working on my laptop today is a saturday i'm going to meet with a youtuber called tony i will link his um channel in the description and by the way in this video he has said that he is going to be doing a giveaway for Bosch drip items so the winners will i think pick what they want from the website and he pays for it so yeah hopefully the videos will come a bit close together to each other so that you guys can also be able to enter that giveaway the game we are playing on his channel is i don't know if you've seen it around youtube but it's like a box and the audience side is open and like let's say if i'm the one playing i'm on this side and the box next facing the other side then you put something inside and someone puts their hand and tries to guess what they're touching now me i'm scared because i'm really terrified of 
insects and so if they put insects in there <laughs> i will literally die especially because i feel like the things i have chosen are really simple to pick here are my things in my paper bag and yeah i think let's start going um what should i show you today with my outfit i'm trying to look for a way to do it but guy there's mess everywhere let me look for how to position okay so i've looked and there's literally nowhere where i can place you guys nicely in the house there's so much construction going on because we're doing some renovations and so there's banging everywhere but my outfit is this dress it's a denim dress from mr price a bodysuit from toy shoes are i can't even remember from where and if you look down here wait let me turn you guys have an anklet it comes in a set from Bosch Trip together with my handbag this is how my handbag looks like from Bosch Trip as well so yeah let us head out <laughs> hi guys welcome back welcome or welcome back to my channel the Slay Squad <laughs> I'm part of the Slay Squad okay. hey gang gang yeah. okay yeah. so I'm here yeah. uh, with Tony and yeah. we're going to do a series of challenges yeah. They've blindsided me. Suddenly, kuna sack race, yeah. spoon and egg race, putting water in bottles using our hands thingy. So, yeah. You know why, 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 why we are doing that? Because uh -huh. you're used to being pretty upper com dogs. So we want to embarrass <laughs> you a bit. Okay, I'm very competitive. That, people don't know that you're athletic. Okay, oh, I'm, no, not athletic. Upper, eh? I'm not I'm, athletic. I'm not athletic, but yeah. I'm competitive. Yeah. So I'm ready, yeah. But now me, I win everything. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's see how this will go. It'll be yeah. interesting, yeah. You think you can beat me? I think, I really think I can. Especially kwa sacre. Really? Yeah, 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 that's when I feel like I can. Me not a share kwa sacre yote. I've become ah. one with the sack. Una chomo. Una Okay, so <laughs> the, 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 the whole vlog will be on his channel. But I'll try and put bits and pieces yeah. in here. Even the behind the scenes, you can put them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, slay squad. <laughs> Twenty legs slay. Oh my god. We're going to lose. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm scared, <laughs> man. It's for you. So far, I was just let her win because that one was for the vlog. <laughs> So just one win is good, right? We're going to do that. Uh -uh. Let's yeah? do the next one. Yeah, that's what is required. Tell me out. <laughs> It's a gope, it's a gope. It's a gope. That is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll find everything that I have mentioned in this video linked down below in the description box. Don't mind this random piece of wood. Like I said, I'm doing some not makeover, but a make copter bolova. <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense, but you get the idea. So that is it for this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos every week. Always remember to work hard and have good intentions. Until next time, bye guys. Bye.